Hi everyone, my name is Sharae and uh, I received my um, Bachelor of Majoring in Physical Education in 2017 at ASU. Then I went to Washington State University for my master's degree uh, majoring in sport management. Um, yeah, after I graduated from Washington State University, um, I applied my OPT and I went to IMG Academy uh, for my uh, OPT opportunity. And uh, I was a, a student athlete mentor um, for high school students. And uh, basically my focus group was tennis players. First of all, I would say I had a great time with these young players and they were awesome young athletes and they were all up around the world and I had a great time and to be their mentor and uh, live with them and especially during the COVID time we had a very hard rules uh, for the dorm for their campus life so basically I tried to try to be creative and create more uh, fun programs for them and to uh, to face that challenge of time uh, and uh, uh, I would say it was uh, also I, I gained some uh, professional experience working with uh, high school students, uh, also knowing their backgrounds and uh, um, just give me, a, I would say just give, give me another opportunity to see different world and that I never thought I could see before. Yeah. If you hesitated, if you don't know if if you don't know what you should do, just apply OPT first. Because um, my personal story was I didn't um, I didn't find a job until the until the second month of my OPT started. So um, it's okay if you, you don't know what you are doing or you don't know what your job is, but definitely you should apply, and then you give yourself a at least you give yourself uh, like more time to to seek what you really want to do and uh, to have interviews. Um, just give it a try and don't don't say okay I don't want to apply because it's too complicated and I would just want to go home. You never know what's gonna happen next. You can use what you have learned from American University and uh, test your knowledge in the in the United States society. Sometimes your knowledge might the, might not be able to work when you just you know return to your home country because totally different aspects totally different society totally different ideologies and uh, ed education focus so you definitely you can gain some experience that is related to uh, uh related to the field that's in the united states i think that's uh, the best way to start your career and once you start your career, you know you meet more people, you build more connections. Then you can decide, oh, should I, it's a perfect time to go home and start something new or you want to continue creating the US. I think that's the, the, the best part of the, um, you know, having some experience, working experience in the United States after you graduate. Yeah. Okay, I think there's two things. First, it's a very it's a, it's very personal it's about your emotional part uh you you really want to everyone who wants to continue their professional uh path in the u.s yes h1b is necessary and everyone wants to get a h1b um but during that time i would say uh i i have seen a lot of stories including myself um so first of all, I would say uh, from the professional part, you definitely need to talk to your supervisor. Uh, you also need to work hard and uh, show them why you are the special one and they need to sponsor you and uh, uh, help you to stay in the team. 
I returned to ASU in 2022 and I've been uh, working for International Student and Scholar Center as a Chinese Student Service Coordinator. So the H1B gave me, gave me the opportunity to serve the student uh, group that I really want to serve and definitely it's uh, all the international students at ASU. Yeah, so my OPT definitely gave me a big uh, support for my H1B job. Uh, definitely, I first during my OPT year, I gained uh, a lot of on-campus or campus environment uh, working experience with uh, students. Also, uh, I uh, also those MG students were from the world, and uh, that basically I uh, connect with international students all day, um, all like uh, every day, and. Uh, know their struggles and uh, know their language barriers, issues or challenges and uh, uh, especially during that um, COVID time they uh, how to help uh, how to deal with homesick wisdom, how to deal with those uh, emotional uh, issues um, and uh, um, yeah.